Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the CLE's number B217DUR05BL. This is a Duranotic anodized aluminum or dark bronze anodized aluminum door suite with a half inch nylon thermal brush slotted with tech screws is what this is. This is a typical uh, sort of bristle style door suite, except that it's not really typical. It's from CLEs, and that means it's of excellent quality. That makes it atypical, I suppose. Uh, this is a... The, B, the B210 is representative of the profile of what this is. You've got an aluminum holder with an inserted nylon thermal brush, very dense. You can just feel when you touch it that is, it is denser than standard. It's more rigid and stiff than standard. You might say that it's something that you would classify as heavy duty. Uh, there is, uh, going forward in the part number, the DUR stands for dark bronze, or they call it duranotic. It's available in this dark bronze finish, as well as a clear anodized aluminum finish, which would be a CLA instead of the DUR. The O5 is a, O5 is a reference to the length of the bristle. It's half inch, they call it 0.53, uh, so it's just marginally heavy on half inch. And then the BL. It's going to be a black bristle that you're going to have in this. Here's an image below this video showing everything important dimensionally about the item. Let's go over that now. You can see that the holder is one inch tall and that your bristle is, well, it's half inch. It's marginally heavy on half inch. This is a bit less common because the height of the holder is one inch and why you might want that is you might have a, an unusual undercut and it would be more uh, I think agreeable to have, have a longer holder than a longer brush. That holder will be certainly more resistant to fatigue over time than nylon bristle will be. So if I had an excessive undercut, let's say uh, an undercut that was a quarter inch greater than standard, I might opt for a one inch height uh, holder with the same standard half inch sort of length on the bristle. Um, CLEs does primarily only bristle. They've got some other ancillary items, but in terms of weather stripping, bristle is what they do, and they do it exclusively. They do it very well. They are uh, very upfront about promoting the advantages of bristle over all other sorts of uh, materials. When it comes to uh, sealing a door, their logic is that nylon bristle is significantly more flexible in extreme temperatures unaffected by, by ultraviolet. Generally, their attitude is that it is a lifetime sort of product, that the sweep with their bristle will, uh, you know, stand the test of time and at least uh, be working as long as the door is working. Uh, my experience tells me the next part of why they're partial to bristle is true. Bristle has an excellent ability to tailor itself to uneven floor surfaces. If my fingers represented an uneven floor surface, you can see how it tailors itself along an irregular floor surface. Where you might have that would be, let's say this was a restaurant, the rear delivery door. Those doors are generally, uh, well, quite in my experience, quite frankly, neglected. Uh, maybe sometimes without a threshold because there's cart traffic, hand cart traffic going through there, and they don't want a threshold there. And that concrete gets worn out over uh, time. And as a result, it's an irregular surface or it could be a sill that's not level, which is very common, or a door that's not plumb. All of those factors conspire to play right into the hand of bristle and what it is excellent at doing. In that same sort of scenario, an inspector will come by and if they can see day daylight underneath the door, they will uh, uh, cite that opening as not being in compliance. Well, bristle has an ability to just really get in there and seal everything. And the logic there is if the daylight is sealed out, well, so are the pests. Uh, just one square inch of exposed, unprotected area on the door, under the door or around the door can, you know, combine to be a significant hole on an annual basis of not having an effective weather seal. It's available in several different lengths in the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is, is if you had to take this 48 inch piece and cut it down to say 44 inch, you'd eliminate that slotted hole that's there. And speaking of that slotted hole, 
another selling point of CLEs is that all of their units without having to request them will come with self-drilling tech screws. I'm not a fan of tech screws because I don't feel that I get good control over using them, but I also don't make a living as an installer. But all of their uh, sweeps come with tech screws as tech screws as standard, and I am certainly in the minority of those people who ins have installed weather stripping when it comes to tech screws. People generally always want those. Uh, if you have, uh, if you order a custom length, we will locate that first slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge and the proper center to center as well. So if you ordered that 48 inch piece and cut it back to 44 inch, you'd eliminate that hole. That hole is very handy to have there as a slotted hole because it allows you to tailor that on the bottom of a door where the sill may not be level or the door may not be plumb. Or it might help compensate for a mist rail hole, especially in my experience when using tech screws. If you've not used a center punch when you start pre-drilling that hole, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit, as does the tech screw, in my experience. So that slotted hole is handy to have. So if you order a custom length, we'll locate that at the proper distance from the edge and the proper center to center as well. There's a link below this video to the CLE's manufacturer page where you can pull up their full product catalog and also get into the other, all of the other factors of why they sing the praises of uh, nylon brush over other insert materials. I'm partial to CLEs, it's because they focus on one thing, they do it very well, and they're very reliable, very predictable. Any questions on the CLEs B210DUR05BL Doronotic door sweep with a 0.53 inch length nylon thermal brush or any other CLEs product, please feel free to reach out to us.